are going to walk through the steps of how to register your child for first Lego League. Some of you may have think you registered, but you need to make sure that you sign up with a team. It's kind of confusing, so we're going to walk you through. So hopefully you got an email from do not reply at firstinspires.org. Some were sent this past Sunday, some this one was sent on October 6th. So Christina is going to go create an account. So first you want to click on the firstinspires.org link. And that takes you to the, the firstinspires.org website, which is the website for First Lego League. And then you're going to want to go sign up and create an account. You can create an account as a parent. And so, Okay, so you need to go back in and go back to your email. And they'll, once you get signed up, they should send you an email to confirm. Okay, so then you get to activate your account with the, through the email that they sent you. And then you get to go log in using the same email and password that you just created. Okay, so from here, you want to go to Parent Guardian Youth. So you want to add a youth. I'm going to add your child. And then you're going to fill out information for them. So not mine? Um, I think you can use his. I don't know. If you have any past experience, they've done first Lego League before. And you want to go to the next step. Then you'll select Fossil Ridge as your school. Your current grade, their current grade in school. Okay, then this is going to be giving your permission. So you as the parent are giving permission for your student to participate. You can read through and see what, what it says. And then you accept it at the bottom. Okay, so now this is the part that's a little bit confusing. So you want to click on the first Lego League up here. And then you're going to enter the team number that they emailed you initially. I'm going to go back to your inbox. So it was that first email that they sent to you. Right there, the do not reply one. It says the team number. So 5651. confirm that that's indeed your team and then you press apply so you have to complete all of those steps to be able to uh, to have your application go through to the teacher and so you can go back to the dashboard and you can see what what steps that they're doing and you can see her application is pending so mr. Stewart will go in and approve that so if you sign in and your application is pending 
let Mr. Stewart, Mrs. Emmett know. If you sign in and you don't have an application pending, then you haven't completed all the steps to register. And that's it.